Good evening and welcome to the Norton Disney Day Ticket Complex. So we're up in Lincolnshire and we're set up on Billy's Lake. So we got here this afternoon at about one o'clock-ish um, and to be honest there wasn't a great deal happening, there wasn't many people fishing, not many fish coming out. Um, and I wanted to get onto Pettit's Lake, which is the kind of bigger fish lake of the complex. Um, I fished it back in the summer, just after the first lockdown, and uh, had nine fish in a couple of days out of there, um, up to sort of low 20s. They were all 20s really, other than one or two upper doubles. Um, so I wanted to get on there, and I set up off the back of the wind based on um, what the bailiffs had told me they'd seen that morning. Um, and that's where I kind of felt most comfortable on there, but I hadn't seen anything, I just wasn't that confident. Um, so I hadn't fully set up, I'd only got the bed chair out, to be honest. Um, and uh, I can see Billy's Lake from where I was, because I was right in the corner of Pettit's. Bear with me two seconds, there's a car just going right behind me. Yeah, so I could see Billy's Lake from where I was kind of uh, set up and when I was leading up on, um, on Pettit's. Uh, and I just could see these fish just booming out on Billy's Lake. It was absolutely loads of them. It was like one after the other and there were about 100, well anything from kind of 70 yards, 60, 70 yards to like 120 yards um, out in front of one of, well there's quite a few empty swims, but in front of one of a few empty swims. Um, so uh, yeah, basically long story short, I come over here and I've, uh, for the last hour I've just been getting sorted. So I led it up out there and, and found a little bit of a spot and I found a deeper spot actually, which is what I was after, over the back of a bar. Um, and I haven't, I haven't put the float out there, but I reckon it's probably about 10 foot, something like that. Um, and it was all around the area where there was fish showing. So um, yeah, I put three rods out there, um, all fairly close together, all with um, helicopters on um, and a couple of different rigs. I'll show you the rigs later on in the session. Um, I'm losing the light, so I haven't got time tonight. Yeah, so I put three rods, rods out there, three different hook baits, just wafter hook baits. Um, and uh, and then I put some bait out. So I only put 10 spoms out of just sweet corn and boilies. Again, I'll show you the mix tomorrow um, using some new bait and um, some new boilies, um, which I'll show you all tomorrow and what I've done with those. Um, yeah, so um, that's that's what we've gone with. Three rods on a spot and 10, 10 spoms of bait out there. There's definitely fish out there. I'm fishing at just under 29 wraps, 20, about 28 and three quarter wraps, whatever that is. I haven't worked it out, 100 and, what is it, 100? It's about 115 ish, something like that. Yeah, so uh, yeah, we'll see what happens. There's meant to be quite a few fish in this lake, they're not that big. Um, I think your average size fish is kind of mid doubles, I think. Um, maybe 12 to 16 pounds i'm not even sure to be honest but i know there are some 20s in here not loads but i think there are some 20s um i'm, I'm not 100 percent sure to be honest um so yeah i'll um i'll update you obviously if we have anything through the night um and tomorrow i'm staying until about two three o'clock ish and i want to make sure i show you the rigs i'm using and um, the bait and um, yeah how we've how we've approached this 24 hour session right catch you in a bit Morning guys, so it's about half six now. So we've got half light out there. You can see a little bit more now. It's been uh, it's been a quite nice. Uh, I haven't caught anything yet, but um, there's plenty going on. There's been fish showing all night. Um, but this is very dark here. There wasn't really much light from the moon, so it's very difficult to really locate them. Um, they weren't that close to the bank. Um, I could see some rings. There you go, there's one just showing actually. Just that's the first one I've just seen probably 30, 20, 30 yards out just to my left. You might have got that on camera. The um, quality is not that good. There's not that much light there yet, but um yeah they're um, they're showing but yeah they're um, they seem to be pretty spread out. I've heard them to my left, to my right, I've heard them all the way over the other side off the back of the wind. Um, they're very active, but yeah, nothing off that bait. Um I give it six hours with all three rods on the spot. Um, and then decided to wind one in and just use that as just a bit of a roving rod with the solid bag and I've recast that three times um, at the moment it's currently basically in front of the swim to my right in front of the deeper water um, but I had that pretty much straight out in front of me but 30 yards, 40 yards closer in than where I was fishing um, but yeah, here you go, they're showing really close in just to my left right, I'm going to have to wind that rod in and just yeah, flick a solid bag out I'll just pan round here, see if we can get them on camera quality is not that good but just behind those um, very small trees that they planted there they're showing like there you go 30 yards out really close in but on the end of this wind it's absolutely Baltic as well this wind really cold 
but I'm going to have to um, position a couple of small solid bags over there. Right, I'll catch you in a bit. Eight, and uh, the left hand has just absolutely tanked off that rod I put out at first light. It's only been out, what, two hours? Yeah, not even two hours. Tanked off, had it on for about 30 seconds and bloody up come out. Just uh, lead had gone on a, on that solid bag. Three and a half ounce lead had dropped off on the take. Yeah, it just started kiting around to the right and just, just up board. So obviously it's barbless sucks. So, uh, yeah, gutted, but... They're showing in close to my left a little bit, so yeah, I'm gonna get the rod back out and contemplate maybe moving one swim down to my left. So I'm kind of casting, and, yeah, it's debatable, but it's between me and them, but probably a little bit closer to them. Obviously there's no one in there, but uh, yeah, right, let's get this rod back out. Right, I hope you can hear me. Sorry about the wind noise. So it didn't take too long after putting that solid bag back out same rod was away again that left hand rod just casting down to the swim next door really and um, it was out there 10 minutes if that hadn't even finished tying the next solid bag up rip round I haven't weighed it yet it's probably about probably about 18 pounds something like that it's a good upper double nice stocky fish really dark yeah real nice carp so yeah I think I'm going to move to the swim next door actually because I've had both of those bites casting down that way if someone moves in there that might be it for me so uh yeah happy days chuffed to have caught one right let's get her back see if we can catch another one So um, there's no footage of that, but hopefully you'll see a picture of it around about now. But yeah, we've just moved into the disabled swim next door um, and just put three solid bags out, all between eight and 12 wraps. Fish are still showing, so uh, hopefully it won't be long before the next one's off. We're in an absolute mess. So 
So uh, yeah, we're going to get sorted and um, yeah, hopefully it's not too long before the next one's on the back. Looks mega. Right, speak to you in a bit. Right, here we go. Fish number five. Just after that, that last clip that I showed you, the only rod left in the water ripped off. I haven't actually weighed it yet, it's uh, low 20 I'd imagine, 20, 22, 23 pounds, something like that. Yeah, mega fish. Another one on the solid bags. So we're gonna get her back and we might just have time to nick one more. All right, happy days. So we've just weighed it, it was a little bit bigger than uh, we thought actually, it was uh, just over 26 pound. So yeah, uh, proper nice fish. Yeah, fish number four, yeah, four or five I think. And lost one. Right, let's get back. Right, so I want to talk you through the bait um, that we started using for this trip. I know obviously we're catching on solid bags now, uh, but this is the bait that we mixed up and, um, and what we was putting out on the spot when we uh, was in the swim last night. So um, last week when I put the um, posts out about my tutorials and, and what I planned on doing, um, I had TKO Baits get in touch with me. Um, so they're a local Shropshire based um, boilie company. Um, and we, uh, we decided we're gonna start working together. I'm gonna do some work with my um, YouTube videos and, uh, and they're gonna give me a hand with some bait for my tutorials. Um, so yeah, I picked up some bait off them, um, a couple of different of their, couple of different flavor boilies, the Legacy, which is their new one, and the Pound for Pound, which is like a nutty, uh, a nutty mix, which is supposed to be nice and soft, which is what I wanted for for the winter. Um, so yeah, that's what I'm using this session, the um, the pound for pound in the in the 15 mil or 14 mil. They're, they're quite small, but they're nice. Um, yeah. So um, what I did was um, I got them um, I got them out of the bag um, and put them into the uh, into the bucket the night before I came or 24 hours before I came and just covered them in boiling water. Um, basically just to wash them out and just soften them up even more um, so I did that the night before um, and then when I got here um, I did my sweet corn so I did four tins of sweet corn in there uh, obviously drained the water out first added the tins of sweet corn in um, and then I put some of the legacy uh, sorry not the legacy the pound for pound um, bait glug in there um, and that's basically the mix so um, it's a mix that is very digestible which is what I want for this time of year something that the fish can eat, eat lots of um, without getting full up so yeah, that's um, that's basically the bait that I would um, I would use at this time of year. I know we're we're not catching over bait at the moment, and solid bags seem to be the one. Um, but yeah, normally anywhere where there's a fair few fish in, or, or or harder venue to be fair, that's the kind of mix that I'd be using. Something very digestible, something bright, um, but yeah, lots of flavour, but not loads of food there as well. Something that's going to pass through the fish really quickly. So yeah, that's um, that's the mix. So we've just done a video piece on the bait and I was just about to talk you through um, some of the rigs and um, it's royally kicking off. So yeah, I had an absolute ripper on the right-hander of those two to start with. And I'd, I'd had that on maybe 30 seconds or so and then this one over here just absolutely melted off. So uh, yeah, we've got two more in the, in the nets. Or one, in, one in a net, one in a sling and there's one free net there. So yeah, I think that's seven now. So yeah, uh, the lads are going to come down and do some photos in a minute, so I've just got one of the rods back out, just getting the other one back out, just uh, midway through tying another solid bag up, little uh, little yellow 12 miller in there, been catching on yellows and little whites, but yeah, just dead simple. Right, let's get this one back out.
turn into one hell of a session. You've just seen us reel off all the photos of them fish after that manic uh, hour or so or 45 minutes. Got the rods back out and of course it's gone again. Unbelievable. There's nothing in this net over here. So yeah, that's fish number 10. I'm losing count. I'm pretty sure that's number 10 now. Getting liners on these. Let's say fishing between eight and 10 wraps out. Not even clipping up, just fishing for a drop. Little, uh, little 12 mil yellows and little cut down whites just popped up about an inch off the bottom just in solid bags. Absolutely mega fish as well. Right, let's get this one sorted and get her out. Right, here we go. Fish number 10. Nice uh, low to mid double. So it's been an unbelievable morning's angling. So I think we've had um, about 11 bites. 11 bites since 8 o'clock this morning, now about 1 o'clock-ish, half one, just about to go home. Yeah, so uh, 11 bites, 10 landed, up to 26 pound, average size probably about 15, 16 pound, a couple of 18, 19 pounders in there as well. So yeah, really good sport, wish I could stay a bit longer, but uh, yeah, we're just about to get packed up and, um, and, uh, and get home. So yeah, we'll get this one back and catch up with you in a bit. session that was so um, yeah we're on our way home now yeah so uh, we only had the 24 hours so we had to get off um, I'll be very tempted to stay if I didn't have a class tonight but I've got an online Zoom class that I've got to get back for um, but yeah really um, really chuffed with that session I was a bit down in the dumps this morning to be honest I really thought I should have caught something I thought I fished well um, last night the rods all went out well um, I'd move solid bags around in the night on one rod from, just in case the bait didn't work and I thought you know something will happen they were active the fish were showing and like I say when I did that piece to camera this morning in like the half light and uh, I hadn't caught anything I was like a bit you know what am I going to do um, and then those couple of fish showed on, on camera to the left of um, the swim that I started in put those two solid bags out and um, obviously it all kicked off from there so um, yeah we we um, we obviously ended up moving into that disabled swim just because I was casting down left and it was uh, I was just paranoid about someone dropping in there and there being more fish down that way and not so much in front of me and then I wouldn't be able to catch them uh, and I'm glad I did that to be fair because I ended up catching them all out in front of that swim and the lad who moved in after me hadn't had anything um, when I left anyway not saying that there weren't fish there but they just seemed a little bit you know more left yeah so I ended up with 10 fish and lost one uh, the biggest fish that being that one about 26 or just over 26 I think it was um, but some absolute mega looking fish I mean it's going to be some lake in, uh, in years to come that is uh, it reminds me of Bray's nose one well and two um, sort of I don't know five to ten years ago or however long ago it was um, average size fish of I don't, I don't know what the official average size fish in there but the average size that I caught was probably about 15 to 17 pounds, something like that, 14 to 17 pound. Yeah, they were, I probably only caught one or two smaller than that, yeah, so probably about 16, 17 pound. Um, but they're, um, you know, they're dark, scaly fish, um, you yeah, know, really, really nice in the gin clear water with the weed and whatever. Um, so yeah, it's gonna be um, it's gonna be some complex, and I think pretty much all the lakes, the fish are like that as well. Um, I know they definitely are in, in Pettits. Um, I'm not sure about the other ones, but I think they're the same stamp of fish in all of them. So yeah, um, there's a couple of bits of filming that I didn't get to do. I wanted to show you that rig that I used on the bait yesterday um, that I was using with the, um, the white pop-ups, the new white pop-ups from TKO. Um, I was trimming those down into wafters so they just sunk um, on that. Uh, it's like a combi, combi rig that I was using. Um, and I was just just started doing the recording for um, for that video and uh, I had a bite and, and it just all kicked off and I just didn't get a chance to, to get back to it. So I'll talk you through that next time. Um, obviously we wasn't catching on that, I just um, I just wanted to show you it. Um, we ended up, you know, just fishing solid bags. I was using um, little yellow 12 millers and those little white ones. Um, they're actually a bit bigger, the ones from TKO. They were 14 mil white ones, but I was trimming them down. So there was only, uh, they were like barrel shape at about 12 mil and they were just popping up the hook just a little bit. Um, yeah, just in, uh, in uh, bags of pellet. So just nice and simple, little four inch rigs. Um, 
three and a half ounce drop off leads. And uh, I didn't, I wasn't fishing to a clip. Um, I was just, I was just fishing somewhere between eight and ten wraps. Um, and that's where I was getting my bites. As long as, as long as, as long as it went down and I got a drop, that seemed to be good enough. Um, so yeah, we've. Uh, I say this at the end of every video pretty much, I haven't got anything else planned. Um, hopefully going to do one or two tutorials this month, although with the whole Covid thing um, it's making it a little bit difficult. Um, but yeah, awesome session. If you've not been up to Norton um, and you're local-ish, um, I'd highly recommend it. The lads there are brilliant. Um, you know, they've really helped me today coming over and getting some photos and helping me do a bit of film and stuff. Top lads, they're um, really helpful you know if, uh, if you're unsure of where to fish or if you want any help or any um, any tips they'll point you in the right direction but yeah if you've not been up there get up there and um, yeah I'll catch you on my next video soon hope you enjoyed it speak to you soon